Installing the spare tire brake light in the Jeep Wrangler. My wife had to have it. JT and today we're going to be installing the spare tire brake light. This is something my wife has been wanting for a very long time. She finally picked it up so we're going to go ahead and put it on. First of all let's do a quick unboxing. Let's see what comes with this. It's supposed to be plug and play. They give you uh, some directions it looks like. A little card if you need help I guess. Um, this is what it looks like off of the Jeep of course. And it does fit right behind so that it should shine through on these holes. It should look pretty cool, I think. Let's uh, pull it out, make sure it has the right plugs on it. Again, it is supposed to be plug and play. And yes, it looks like it's going to be plug and play. Here are the plugs. One goes into the third brake light. And the other, I'm not exactly sure. So, we'll have to see uh, as we go. I thought there actually was another plug in here, um, but apparently not. So, I'm not exactly sure how that works. One plugs into the third brake light, and the other, I thought, was supposed to plug into another wire. But anyway, we'll take a look and see. Alright, first thing we need to do is remove this gigantic and very heavy spare tire. We have the camera back here, so we have to take the cover off. This just takes a Torx bit, and this is a T40. Um, actually, in the kit that comes with the Jeep, there's a tool to use, but I'm just using my own. So, just put it in the hole there, twist it, in theory, and then pull that right off. And it's that simple, pretty easy to do. Next up, we have to remove the lugs. I have a security lug on here, as well as two other lugs, so I have two separate sockets. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull those, and then we're just going to lay, lay the spare tire down on the table here. That's really so uh, I don't have to lift it. I can just push it back up, if you will. So, let's get the spare tire off. Okay, got those off. That's not too bad. Now it's just a matter of pulling the spare. Hopefully that won't be that difficult. Didn't seem to be. And as I said, we'll just lay that down. Then we'll scoot the table out of the way and we can work on the light itself. Okay, before we go any further, let's make sure that this indeed does fit. They give you a bunch of different slots on here, depending on the configuration of your uh, lugs or your bolts, I guess. And it does. I wonder if it fits on these two. I'm curious. It doesn't fit on the holes that they give you. you. See these holes around here, the round holes? doesn't fit on those. It doesn't appear. No. But it does fit on the slots that they give. So it'll fit on just like that and then the tire will go up against it of course so it's sandwiched in between the tire and the holder. Next up, now that we know that that's going to work, so I guess I have to continue on. Um, I have to remove all of these little screws here and there are what? Three, six, seven of them so that I can access the plug that's right behind the uh, light right there. There's a plug that we're going to plug into, then we're going to run the wiring down here somewhere and plug into the unit itself. So, let me go ahead and get these screws off and then we'll move on. These are a Torx 25, a T25. 
So, here's my handy little magnetized holder here, so I don't lose these. They're pretty darn small. Let's go ahead and pull them. They are different sizes, by the way. The ones on the bottom are longer, the ones up here are shorter. Just keep note when you're putting this thing back together. Um, you don't want to put the long ones in the wrong spot. And this is supposed to just separate, and it does if I recall, because of course I have had this off before. So, I remember how to do it, that is. Looks like it's the back that separates from the front. Like so, that's it. Now, bring you guys a little bit closer. If you can see right here, that's where the plug is that we're gonna disconnect uh, and plug into the round ring unit that we have. That's just a little, looks like a push button kind of thing. So I should be able to just separate that, hopefully with just my hand. That's never the case. Get it out here where we can see it a little better. There. Yeah, that's a little better. It does look like one of those push kind of things. Let me work on that a bit off camera. Um, it's never been off before, so it's going to be tight. And once I figure out exactly how it works, I'll come back on and let you guys know. Okay, to get that off, you actually do push this little nub in here. I found very helpful to use just a pair of pliers, unless you have hugely strong fingers. Um, and then it just pulls off, or out rather, uh, just like that. And that's what we're going to plug in to the other end. Uh, of the little round light that we're gonna put on. So let's do that next. Okay, we've got it on, it's all wired. Again, it was just plug and play on that little uh, connector that I showed you in the beginning. Plug one end in, plug the other end in, and then just run the wiring. I just ran it through the back up this side because we have the stock one over here on this side. So I just ran it up through the channel here and the little connectors are hidden right behind here. So. It's not a perfect fit because the connectors are behind this piece, but it's close enough. I think it. I think it'll be okay. We shall see. Um, should be good over here. You can see where the wire comes off here. It just goes underneath. I was thinking about zip tying that, but there's not really anything to zip tie it to. So I may just leave it like it is, and it'll be protected by the tire itself. So it shouldn't be an issue. So now I have to finagle this behemoth back on there. Put the lug nuts back on and then once that's done I'll let you guys see what it looks like through the tire. All right the moment of truth here we're going to go ahead Krista is inside the Jeep we're going to go ahead and hit the brake pedal you can see what this looks like. Go There you go that's what it looks like all lit up check that out we'll get you a different angle there. Um, She's not going to have any problems being seen going down the road, that's for sure. And I love how it goes around in the ring here, through the holes at the tire. Um, actually pretty cool and pretty simple to do. It is plug and play and I believe it's under 40 bucks. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, you can check it out if you're interested in doing this. But uh, wow, what a, uh, what a pretty cool look for the, for the Jeep. That's it, that is the third brake light, or spare tire light, I guess, for the back of the Jeep Gladiator. Now, one thing I do wanna add, it is not DOT approved, or Department of Transportation, so you can't get rid of the top light um, and put this one in in lieu of it. So you do still have to have them all, but check that out. That is awesome, love the way it looks, and I gotta say, the video does not do it justice. It is a nice, rich, bright red light. Pretty darn cool. For 40 bucks, yeah, I don't think you can beat it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Chris is in there playing with it.
I don't know why she can't see it. She's in the truck, but you guys can. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, I do have two additional channels. Rock Motive, all about my 2021 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay lit out there. Bye. Thank you.